Hey guys, how are you? It is Jean Watts. Welcome back to my channel. I randomly just decided to do a everyday, like, I don't know, I'm just gonna get ready today. I just did this little makeup. And I'm like, you know what, I wanna film it. So this is like my go-to everyday products that I use if I wanna look cute. Um, I showed you guys very quickly of how I get this blow out type of hair very quickly using a new device that I love so much. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so on my face right now, I, I've been picking at my face. I've been staying home just like the last two days and I've been like slowly just cleaning out my pores and picking at them. So I have a little bit of like pigmentation going on. Um, but I just got out of the shower and I have my Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid. And then I use finally the last drops of this April Skin um, Peptide uh, Plumping Serum. And then I have my Vitamin C, which is my Glow Recipe Dark Spot that I'm um, trying to use up. Now I'm going to prep my skin with a product. And this is an ad, this is Lothary's Face Lotion. It's really, really nice. So this was made from a dermatologist. It's made to like soothe to hydrate your skin, but it's also really lightweight where it soothes, um, soothes acne on your skin. It's antifungal. And again, it soothes your skin if it has like breakouts or it's irritated, it restores um, like a broken skin barrier and it's super lightweight and it's not sticky, which is the type of lotion or an, an moisturizer that I like to use before I put makeup on. Cause I love a good deep hydration, but it's just hard to wear really thick moisturizer when you're obviously about to put a bunch of makeup on or any makeup at all really. So now you can see that my skin looks way more hydrated than it did before, which is what we want. And again, it's not sticky and it's lightweight. What gives it a deep hydration is that it is infused with panthenol and squalene, which I love. So it just gives you like that plumped hydration, glowy skin. I'm ready to go to put on my favorite Chanel um, Le Le Beige. Let's just pretend like that's how it is, sorry. Um, but it's in the shade medium. I'm taking my MAC brush and uh, 170S that I love. I'm in love with this Chanel stuff because it's so, like it's lightweight. I don't want to put like, I want to have like a little something on my skin, but I don't want like foundation. And this stuff is just out of control. It's so light. Like it's definitely not something you want to wear if you want like a lot of coverage, but just a little something and it makes your skin like glowy and it feels good it's the best this is my favorite now for concealer i'm going in with my kosas concealer and 3.5 w a little here oh here just from down here because i don't want it to be lighter i'm going to go with my my mac 24 hour in nw30 Like, I love cleaning out my skin, cleaning out my pores, but sometimes, like, I'll break out just a little more than that. But then, like, after I, like, I'm done breaking out and everything, <laughs> my skin looks really good afterwards. But right now, I just get a little pigmentation. Okay. I'm going to use my favorite Hourglass brush. This is their concealer, seamless, seamless concealer brush. I'm just gonna highlight this a little more. Dab it with. Okay, now I'm gonna do brows. We are gonna go in with my Kosas Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm gonna use Taupe first. I have three different shades. Taupe is the lightest one that I have. So usually I like to start. Yeah, no. Usually I like to start with this one. Just kind of fill in. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the soft brown because it's a little darker. And I just kind of want to darken the ends a little bit more. And then I love how these have a little brush in the back of them. Okay. Now we are gonna go in with a little bronzer, and I am gonna go with my Dibs Beauty Bronzer. Shade. Yeah, I like this shade. This is the spill the tea in full deeds. And I like how lightweight this formula is too. I'm gonna take my iconic London brush. I got this new brush for my hair and it's like a curling iron brush and I'm obsessed with it so I'm going to show you guys that after this now I'm going to go in with the blush on the same stick take this Sonic Kushite brush Now, I'm going to use my Coffee Kitten palette by Winky Lux. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with this right here in the shade Cappuccino. I'm just going to go over my eyes like this. And then a tighter brush. Yeah, same color. Just to bring some definition. Alright, I'm gonna go the same bronzer I put on my face and then just a brush like this. I'm gonna dab it. Just do a little nose contour. This is honestly the first time I've done it this way. But I just feel like I'm being called to do it this way. Uh, maybe we're gonna just dab it just a bit here. Now, I'm going with my smudge brush from Market Jacobs. And I'm gonna go in with this color down here. And it's like a shimmery brown. And I'm gonna tap these two. This Sonia Kushak brush right here for your eyebrows. Going in with this dark color right here. Let's do a little wing. Okay, same thing on the other side. I love how I set a little wing. Darken my eyebrows just a little right here. Just a little bit though. Okay, mascara time. I'm gonna go in with my Armani Beauty mascara in Ice to Kill. I'm gonna set my makeup a little bit using my powder puff and my Kosas, the cap fell off. This is the Kosas Feathery Cloud Set Powder. I'm just gonna kind of set this very lightly. My face gets super oily throughout the day. So I'm just gonna go light here and then throughout the day if I wanna keep touching it up, I'll just keep slowly adding on this stuff. It's like light enough without it looking like cakey. Let's do a little, let's do a little lips. We're gonna use, since we're gonna go a little more lighter today, since it's like day makeup, I'm gonna use my Para Para. And this is in Milky Brown. I'm 
I'm so excited. I'm about to pack later today. I'm going to Asheville to see my dad, my stepmom, my sister, and her husband's going there. My brother's going. And we always have the best time together. And we're gonna spend the week there up in the mountains of Asheville. We have so many, like we love doing activities, we love games. So we have a bunch of things planned. I might do a vlog since I'm like so about vlogs now. So maybe I'll, you know, tag you guys along with us. Real fun, more escape rooms. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a little um, mascara at the bottom of my eyes. And this is a Clio Cosmetics mascara in 01. This is their sharp. So simple. It's like a little mascara. And I like putting this at the bottom. It gives a little bit. But, oh, that's not cool. Now, my favorite. My MAC Gold Deposit. Taking my Hourglass brush that I'm obsessed with. Hourglass has the best brushes. Um, and I'm gonna tap these BB on. Every time I don't like love my makeup, I'm like, why? It's because I don't have this on yet. Um, I don't like putting this on my chin because my chin is naturally very sharp already. So sometimes I like to simmer it down. So when I want to simmer it down, I don't use a highlighter or anything that has a glow in it. So I like to go in with like a matte bronzer and this is a la luz, a la luz past the crown. I'm just gonna take the other side of this hourglass brush. And just tap it a little bit. Get me a little up there. We can use a little blush. Oh, like look at this hourglass hourglass brush. So cool. And obviously my Hourglass Palette Ambient. I like to go with these two right here. Just give a little color. Put on my nose here. Now I'm gonna take this Iconic London brush right here. And I'm gonna go with this highlighter right here. Just add a little glow. Oh, I'm not done with my, you know what? I'm gonna use the same palette. I'm gonna take my ColourPop brush in E13. It's just like a flat brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with these two highlighter colors. Actually, mostly like this one. My lid. Yeah. Then on the corners, I'm gonna go in with like the lighter one. Same brush, just add a little highlighter there. Maybe a little highlighter here. Maybe going back in right here and just a little on my. Do something. I'm gonna do a little more mascara. I'm gonna go with my same Armani. <gasps> Let's do this. Okay, going in with my Kat Von D brown tattoo liner. Do a little flick. Just a little flick. Now I need some eyebrows. Benefits. I want to possibly add this is medium brown one, but I'm gonna add just a little more here. I've been making my eyes my eyebrows thinner. Yeah, 
Now, just to add a little more on my lips, I'm going to my favorite Maybelline ink crayon and reach high. I just like going on the outline. Now for my hair, I'm going to blow dry it and then I'm gonna show you guys my favorite new hair accessories that I did post in my Amazon um, finds video that I recently did. But yes, so hold on. Okay, it's been a few hours. I just ate a cheeseburger. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of shine and this is Lottie London uh, Bloody Drip Lip Tint. If you guys follow me on my social media, I did an ad for them. I actually really like this lip tint. So it looks like blood. Okay, now I am going to do my hair. And this is the brush that I got on Amazon. It like detaches. There, It comes with um, a crimper, curling iron, um, one with a clamp, and then two smaller ones you wrap with your hand. I'm in love with this thing. Oh my gosh. I like that it comes with different changeable barrels because I travel a lot. And it's obviously really hard when I travel with a crimper, a curling iron, a, straight, uh, a straightener, a blow dryer. Okay, so I stretched my hair off with my little clip. Now I'm gonna take this um, curling iron. I will link it below. But look how easy this is. I'm obsessed with this. I should put heat protectant spray and I usually do, but I'm just, I'm here. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do my whole head. Okay, I'm gonna do, I just did my bangs. I'm gonna redo them again. So I'm gonna gather them like this. Looks like a blowout. I am obsessed. So this is my hair and it stays like this, like usually like depending on how I sleep, but I'll wake up in the morning and it's still looking pretty cute. Maybe just like a little touch up here and there, but obsessed with this. I will link everything below. Okay, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, <laughs> happy New Year. I love New Year's, I love change. Um, I think I'm gonna do another spiritual video for the New Year's um, because again, the New Year's is very meaningful to me. I love new change and this year has been so intense and, transmor and transformative for me, so. Um, I'm gonna share some of my knowledge and some of the things I'm gonna do for the start of the new year, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, not sure when I'm posting this video. So it might be after Christmas, before Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year. Um, yeah, okay, so let me know if you guys want anything else from me. I'm starting to do way more videos. So please give me some more ideas, um, which you guys would like to see. Okay, I love you guys. Do your inner work and I will see you guys next time.